so I don't know if they're running from the police. Like, okay, it's not quite hot enough to burn myself, but it is, ow, it is quite hot. I'm so over it. Oh my God. Ah! Oh, shit, 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 shit. And moment of truth. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's just ignore this for a second. There was a guy on TikTok that did a video talking about a dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. A lot of people tagged me in that video. When I went to shop the exact one that he was talking about, it was out of stock on the TikTok shop because I think it was like 19 99 or something. So cheap, but there were some people in the comments that were like, they do also sell the exact same one on Amazon. So I went onto Amazon, I bought one. I can guarantee that whoever made this fake air wrap, that is not their image and that is not the model for it because the box looks very not official. I'm gonna be doing one side of my head with this one, which cost me $25.99, and the other side with my Dyson air wrap, which is 400 pounds. If you are interested in my other air wrap videos, I do have two. I've got one where I tested it versus a different like hair styling tool that was sort of similar. And I've got another video which is sort of like my one year review of my air wrap. And honestly, as much as I do love my air wrap, that is, it is ridiculously expensive. It's something that is not a necessity to have nice looking hair. I do really like it, but if this works, it could be game changing. Let's just test it and find out. So first things first, yes, my hair is naturally wavy slash curly, whatever you want to call it. No, I don't want to do the curly girl method to try and revive my hair. Yes, I tried it once on TikTok. I used to wear my hair curly when I was at school, but I just don't really like it on me anymore. I don't really like it. I don't really have any interest in reviving my curls. I could if I wanted to. Spray in a bit more water because it has been up in a towel for a while. By the way, this hair towel, if anyone has got long hair, I have been through so many cheaper microfiber hair towels. And honestly, this one is worth the extra money. I think it's about like 30 quid. I did actually get sent one of these, I think for my birthday last year. But this is by a brand called Aquis. Aquis, they are so long. They have a really good amount of stretch in them. So it actually keeps all your hair in it. And also the material that it's made from is just so good at absorbing like more moisture from your hair. This bottle is um, a tannolic just spray bottle that I put some water in but you can buy like really similar misting things on Amazon. I'm just gonna spray in a bit of this which is the Amica Wizard Detangling Primer <laughs> because clearly I need it. This is a wet brush. It's one of like the eco ones, but I really like the wet brushes. Then I'm gonna put in a bit of this which is the Aveda Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. And then finally a bit of the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Heat Protectant Primer stuff. So like I said, this was $25.99. I did actually just go back on the listing and the item has been removed. It just said, sorry, we can't find this anymore. So I don't know if they're running from the police. Like maybe they're running from Dyson's lawyers, who knows? So we have got the, the base of the thing. <laughs> the thing, <laughs> so professional. One of the drying attachments, which does look similar to the Dyson one. We have got a round brush, a straightening brush kind of thing. Okay, I was just checking if it moved because the Dyson one sort of like moves from side to side, but this one doesn't. It comes with two curling barrels. Does it say which side is which? Oh, okay. It's got the arrows sort of like at the top. So that is everything that you get in there. Not bad for $25.99, well, we'll see. The um, barrels for this are made of plastic, whereas the Dyson ones are like a very lightweight metal. I'm guessing it's like aluminum or something. These barrels are all plastic apart from this one, which is like metal in the middle. So in comparison, we have my Dyson, which yes, this attachment is full of hair. And I do normally use the longer barrels for mine. However, because this one has got like the regular sort of length barrels, I will use my regular length barrels. So obviously with the Dyson one, you do get two of the sort of like straightening, flattening sort of brushes. I never really know what the difference is between these, but they sort of like move so that it angles the air the correct way so that it doesn't like blow your hair around all over the place, which is kind of cool. So these ones are a little bit wider. This one's a little bit slimmer, but that's all right. And then also as well, the Dyson comes with um, two different widths of the barrels. To be honest, I never really use these ones anymore because I have the longer ones. The dupe is more similar to the slimmer barrels. So we will use the slimmer barrels today. Let's go. I'm going to rough dry my hair with the Dyson on this side and then the other one on this side. I don't know what to call it. The fake. The cable is quite a lot shorter on this one. So actually, I should probably do the dupe on this side of my head. Okay, so you hold down the switch and then you twist it and then it sort of like locks it into place, cool. Dyson's got three heat settings, three speed settings, and then it's got like the cool blast at the top. This one I think has just got like one, two, three, let's see. 
one and three seem to be the same. Zero is off, one is moderate temperature for gentle drying and styling, two is high temperature for fast drying and styling, and three is highest temperature for fast drying and styling. Mine is definitely in the wrong order. One, two, three. So I'm just gonna rough dry my roots with this, um, and then I will use like the other brushes to sort of smooth down my fringe and stuff like that. <sighs> I tend to always like dry my roots pretty much as good as I can. Even though it's noisy, it's definitely more quiet than other hair dryers that I've tried. Cool, that's that. Let's try this one. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna put it on the highest mode because I feel like this isn't really like blowing my hair around very much. Uh -huh. It's getting really hot. Okay, it's definitely not as powerful. Like it doesn't have as much force of like the wind that comes out of it. What am I trying to say? The air, not the wind. Actually, I think I need to go for a little bit longer. So it's not like, it's not super strong. Like it doesn't blow my hair around loads. It is doing the job, but just slower. This does feel like really hot now actually. So to get this off, I guess I, where do I hold it? Okay, it's not quite hot enough to burn myself, but it is, ow, it is quite hot. Ah, because you have to twist it. So next up, we will go in with one of the brush attachments because I want to see if it can sort of like smooth down the top of my head. I'm going to swap it out for the equivalent air wrap attachment. This one. Okay, so that is... The air wrap side is still like a tiny bit damp. I will obviously respray the ends of my hair because I want to test out the curling tools as well. And I haven't really bothered to do like the front parts of my fringe because I will use the round brush for that. But that attachment, I will say like it, it works pretty well. It makes your hair feel quite sort of smooth and shiny. However, I do find that even with my Dyson, it doesn't completely control the frizz. Obviously, I've, I've said this in my sort of like Dyson summary video, it doesn't damage your hair as much as straighteners would, but it doesn't get my hair as straight as my straighteners would. And also I find that after a few hours, it still, sort of starts to go a bit frizzy again and it doesn't hold for as long as if I use like really high heat on my hair So it's sort of like you're sacrificing super long-lasting anti-frizzness and styles if you have quite like frizzy curly wavy hair to start out with then you're most likely not gonna get as long lasting results as if you were to use high heat which i know that is a one of like the main complaints of the air wrap because people are like well i don't want to spend 400 quid on a hair tool for it to then not as last for as long as something else that i could use for like 50 pounds like i fully understand that but the condition of my hair feels so much nicer since i've been using this instead of like straighteners and curlers okay so let's use this side on the other side it just clicked. It's making like a weird clicking noise. Why is this weird line that I've got going across there? I've got like a dent. I'm really confused. <laughs> It is working, but it's just um, like a slower process because it doesn't sort of gather as much hair. This side did take a little bit longer though. It did the job, it just took a little bit longer and it doesn't sort of like grab as much hair. It's a little bit more frizzy on this side. To try and get rid of some of the frizz, let's try the round brush attachment because that's the one that I use the most. Although mine is sort of like melted. A lot of the time it just like it literally just falls off. Okay, so let's try the round brush attachment on this one as well. They are quite different, but hopefully we'll do a sort of similar thing. <laughs> it's so annoying. Hopefully I'm getting a new one for my birthday. It has not sunk in that I'm about to turn 25 this week. I'm so over it. I've only done it a little bit because obviously I am going to be curling it as well. But you can get that sort of like flippy, flicky hair effect, which does last longer when you sort of like clip it and everything. And I only did it for a little bit just to like demonstrate what it can sort of do. Now, let's try it on this side. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> these little bristly things, there aren't as many of them. It doesn't sort of like grip your hair as well to sort of like pull it tight so that you can smooth out any sort of like cow's licks or anything that you've got. But let's keep going. I would argue that this side actually did like the flicky outy bits a little bit better than the Dyson side, maybe? This part gets hotter than the Dyson one, I think. So I think it's sort of more likely to like hold at the ends of your hair, maybe. But the only downside with this side is that it was quite hard to get these sort of like frizzy bits to straighten out. The bristles on it are a bit more spaced out and it doesn't grip your hair as well. I've got to admit, for some reason, this side of my hair feels softer. Let's just brush it through and spray it with some water because now, probably what everyone has been waiting for, the curling attachments. I do actually clip up the curls and leave them to cool for around like half an hour, spray it with a load of hairspray, then we'll take them out. So I'm using the slimmer, like shorter barrels of the Dyson attachments. And obviously these have got arrows on them which go different directions. So what you're supposed to do is sort of look in the mirror and then the arrows will point the direction that the curl will go. So this is like the correct way round so that they'll go away from your face and then away from your face. I would definitely recommend doing it on damp hair. And if I'm doing it on day two, I will just spray like a bit of water or a bit of product through my hair. And these are just the Beauty Works and Molly May clips, but you can get like these crocodile clips, or click, clicks, clips on Amazon for really cheap. If anyone's seen that video of that scary Dyson man on TikTok, I will pop out of your furniture and force you to return the air wrap. That was doing a tutorial of the air wrap. I mean, he was bald, but he was telling people <laughs> how to use it. He was like one of the head people at Dyson. He was like, you don't wrap it towards your face, but if you do have long hair, you kind of need to. Otherwise this happens. You do that and then it all just falls down there. So I let it take my hair like that and then I will wrap it so that it's a bit tighter. Oh, it's really hard with the smaller barrel, but. A little cool blast, which doesn't really do a whole lot because it's not actually very cool. And then I just sort of slide the curl out, take my clip, feed it through, ta-da. Slide it out, feed it in. Obviously the smaller sections you take, probably the better, but I'm quite lazy, so this is how I normally do it. Also, start to finish with the air wrap, it probably takes me about half an hour now. I don't usually clip up the front pieces, but I'm actually gonna do that today. Well, that's gonna be annoying in my eye. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was sitting here like, what is that noise? I just realized that my hairspray can was upside down on the floor, pressing the thing, and it was just going <laughs> Well, that's just gone all over my carpet. Just used up half a bottle of hairspray. You know what, Ashley? I don't like, I don't like how I've done this. I'm gonna take my little fringe out because just like these very front pieces because I don't want it to go really weird. And then I let it drop and then I just sort of like twizzle it and just put it back there. Other side. Let's just see, do these go in different directions? Does it work the same way? Okay, this is on like the fastest cutting, the fastest setting. Oh, I don't know if the person I saw was lying or whether my hair's just really heavy, but it doesn't quite like suck it up the same way. But let me just see if the other one curls in a different direction. I'm sure it probably will. How do I get this off? Ow, because you have to twist it and it gets really hot. Let me use my sleeve. Yep. Okay, yeah, so just checking. Like, look, it definitely works in a similar way. Um, and they do curl in different directions, which... Ah, ah, the other one's really hot. Um, which is to be expected, I suppose. It's just quite difficult to actually put them on and off when they're hot. So I think I'm going to have to take slightly smaller sections of hair, maybe. I'm going to try sort of like catching the ends with it. It seems to only be able to take like really small sections. It definitely curls. I've only got four clips. So I need to try and do it in sort of like similar sized sections. I just want it to pick up. 
more than like this amount of hair at a time. But it seems like that's not, just not gonna work. Also, it's sort of blowing it outwards as well as inwards. So like some pieces are patching and others just aren't. See what I mean? Like it, some bits are sticking up. Now it's just not working at all. I just don't really wanna have to do it in pieces that are like this big. I think that's just gonna have to be the way that I'll do it. I'm gonna have to do it bit by bit in like really tiny sections and then clip, like add each bit to the clips. It just doesn't have enough power to like hold all the hair. And then I will add the next curl into that clip. I want it to work so badly. It's just really, really frustrating me. So I have to take it like an inch section at a time. Okay, so I've just added that one to that clip. Also, I feel like my hair's just getting a little bit tangled where it's blowing it around a little bit more. Okay, that that's one clip, that'll do. <laughs> we'll see how the results turn out, but honestly, at this moment in time, I'm thinking just if you want to get this, I wouldn't get it for the, <laughs> the curling attachment bit, which is like the main attraction, but it's just not powerful enough. Even like, I'm using it on the hottest and strongest setting. It also now really smells of melting plastic and I'm, the cable is getting really tangled. Ah, that's a slight issue because it doesn't have like the um, swivel cable. The cable's just getting really tangled from where I've been twisting it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Has this really just broken on me? Surely not. Unless it's overheated because it feels really hot. Okay, wait, I'm gonna unplug it for a sec. See if it just needs to cool down for a little bit, maybe. It smells a little bit like burning in there. Okay, let's see. Oh, phew, I think it just overheated. Okay, phew, right. <laughs> God. Hey, that's better. Well, it's definitely curling my hair. Like, there's no doubt about that. It's just quite difficult to use and very time consuming because it can only take like tiny pieces at a time. But at this stage in time, I think if you're getting it just for the curling attachment, it's maybe not worth it. Like, try something else. <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm putting it on the sort of like middle temperature and then only for a few seconds I'm turning it right up to the really hot one because it gets really, really hot and I think that's what overheated it. And also it feels like it's kind of like gonna burn my hair off, so. Ow, 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 okay, I can't. Let's add this one to that clip. It almost like twists my hair. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the hot one gets so hot, it's like burning my head. It doesn't quite slide off that easily either. Also, I think with how hot this one gets, it's probably easier and less time consuming to just use a hair curler. Thank you. Like yeah, I, yeah, I know, literally, it's spoon, this. Uh, big spoon, small spoon. Cookie dough. Ah, the cable is getting so tangled. Oh, we've lost a few pieces down here. Just try and tuck those back up. I do actually have the same number of clips in each side. I think these curls are gonna come out a lot looser because these ones obviously had to take smaller pieces. Let's just spray both sides with hairspray. And now I'm gonna wait for both sides to completely cool. So probably about half an hour and then I'll come back and we'll take it out and we'll see the results. Hello, I have returned. It is more than half an hour later. Everything is now completely cool. We're gonna take all these out. This is the one that I clipped up first. So we'll take this side out first, the Dyson side. I find this so satisfying, just taking the clips out. Oh, that clip was upside down, kind of. Then we've got this side. Lord. Ow! Okay, so this is the difference at this stage. I'm just gonna hairspray it again. They don't look actually too different at this stage. Then I do the shake. Shake out the curls. And moment of truth. <laughs> okay, this is a bit much. Nothing to see here. This is one of the Molly May and Beauty Works brushes. I really like these for brushing out the curls. They are, I think, I guess, maybe specifically designed for brushing out curls. They don't do a great job at sort of like untangling, detangling your hair. But when you come to brush out curls, it's just like a really soft brush. Let's brush out the curls. I know that some people don't like to do this, but I like to because I'm not a fan of this look. I'm not going to lie. On both sides, the fringe has gone really weird. I'm probably actually going to restyle just this like first little bit of my fringe. Let's give it another flip. 
I will tell you now, it does not stay like this for long. Especially with, like with my Dyson that is. It definitely drops out after a while. But you know what? I've actually got a lot of volume on this side. I would say the main... Okay, you can actually kind of tell the difference when I'm up close like this with my hair like a lion's mane. This side just looks more dry and sort of frizzy. I think because I had to take smaller sections of the hair and instead of sort of like blowing it all in the same direction, you could see when I was curling it, it sort of like blew some pieces straight up. Some pieces were like being blown one way and other pieces were being sort of like sucked into it. So it just made it go a bit more frizzy as it was drying. Whereas because the Dyson sort of like sucked it up a bit better. It looks a bit shinier on that side, I think. Whereas this side looks a little bit more sort of dry. The front pieces need sorting because they're really annoying me actually. I actually can't twist it on anymore. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. How weird, because it was literally working perfectly fine before. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's just done the Dyson on me. Oh crap. Shit, 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 shit. I'll go for you. <gasps> there we go. That's much better. Why is it that with this kind of round brush, your hair gets stuck in them so easily? Do you know what? I think it's because it's got the little like bobbles on the end. I've got to say, with the Dyson brush, I have not once got it stuck in my hair. Touch wood. I don't have any wood. It's a little bit tricky with this side of my hair because I've got this like broken chunk of hair at the front of this. <laughs> I have to say, after all of that, you would not look at me and be like, oh yeah, she's used two different hair styling things on either side of her hair. I don't think you would anyway. I don't think you can really tell. This side definitely feels sort of like softer. Not bad for 25 pounds. Although what I will say is it would be so much quicker to, like I said, just get something like the Revlon drying brush if you want to do the sort of like blowout effect thing but when it comes to actually curling your hair i would honestly instead of getting this because it's left my hair feeling quite dry anyway and it sort of blew it in the different directions and stuff and it took ages because it would only take pieces of hair that were like this big it would probably be more worth your time just using a curling iron because that got really bloody hot anyway not bad for 25 quid. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I would be interested to see now how this actually lasts. I think I might actually film a little check-in tomorrow because it is the evening now. Um, I'll probably see how it drops before I go to bed. I might wake up and see how both sides last because normally, to be honest, like my Dyson curls don't last very long anyway and I have to sort of redo it on day two if I want it to look like this again. I don't really know how well you can sort of tell the difference in my hair. What is going on with this piece? So just a little update. It is now one in the morning. This is the Dyson side. This is the dupe side. They're both actually holding up pretty well. I mean, it's got a bit tangly because my hair does get quite tangled quite quickly because it's so dry, but I will update you guys with how it looks in the morning. But yeah, I mean, both sides I think are holding up relatively well. Just needs a little bit of a brush, I think. There we go. This is my hair the next morning. Um, both sides, not the best. Like obviously, as you can see, the curls just haven't really held that great. And I always, always have to redo the front pieces of my hair because they just go like this. They held up about the same, to be honest. This is the Dyson side, this is the dupe side. I think the Dyson held up a little bit better actually. I've got a bit more of a curl like at the bottom of my hair here. This one's got a bit more frizzy. And then this is what it looks like after I just redid the front two pieces. Well, there we go. Um, I think the Dyson is probably still out of stock. I will try and find it somewhere and link it down below. I will also link the dupe down below. Just in case you guys want to check it out or try it for yourself, please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Have you guys tried this? Like I said, as much as I love my air wrap, and if it did break, I would buy a new one. I don't think it is necessary to own one and you can get nice looking hair without one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there are any other hair tools that you want me to test because I love testing hair stuff. I might not be the best at it, but I love testing it. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.